that this is Joe. You probably noticed that uh, the sequence of my uh, this cooking video is not my usual way as presenting all of the ingredients and everything that is uh, included in this recipe. But uh, I just thought I'll try a different approach and then I'll go from there. And uh, now what I want to clarify is why I waited until this uh, part of my cooking is well advanced. The sauce is boiling briskly and the meat is quite tight already. It's not tender yet, uh, but it's tight. And now I'm going to show you. I believe this will be my last ingredient, which is brown sugar. Okay, I have a good tablespoonful of brown sugar here. You don't have, pardon me, you don't have to have brown sugar. You could use white sugar if you want, if you don't have the brown sugar. I just like that little bit of extra flavor from the molasses from brown sugar that is going to impart in my recipe. Now, the reason why I put it at this point of the cooking time is because I want the meat to kind of tighten up before I put the sugar. I really don't want the meat to just absorb all, all the sweetness all the way through. Now it's nice and tight. It will, the sugar is there to balance the acidity from the vinegar and the pineapple. And I do have uh, some more pineapple left which I will be adding as you can see. And the last part of the cooking process kind of just improve on the presentation, okay? So now I got most of the ingredients there except for that little bit of pineapple chunks which I'll add later on. And I'm gonna allow this to continue boiling until it's very tender. And I'll bring it back. As you can see, the sauce is now reduced, the meat is tender. I added the last chunks of pineapple, basically for a better presentation purpose and also for flavor. Okay, so I'm going to give this about five minutes uh, slow simmer and then I'm going to show you what it looks like when I'm done, okay? Five minutes, that's all it takes from there. Make sure the heat is low, and we'll come back to you after five minutes.